I, I think uh, to maintain creativity, uh, one important thing is to, to have a broad mind, uh, to always look around and uh, uh, try to look for new problems, new ideas, new uh, ways of, of looking at things. I also think that uh, uh, besides creativity, you have to have the determination to go through with, with your research ideas, to follow up, uh, to follow them up even if they don't lead anywhere, which, which is of course quite often the, uh, the situation in research. I think uh, that uh, uh, creativity comes from, from, from curiosity, but uh, it's more than curiosity. It, it, it consists of this willing, this uh, will to, to follow up and to, to go through, uh, also through the hard work that, that sometimes it, it involves. I think uh, the primary duty of scientists is, of course, to do science and to advance science because uh, science, uh, without science, we cannot really approach or, or solve those, those problems that face us with, with the environment or even with the more and more complicated society or complex society. Uh, I think uh, it's also a duty of a scientist uh, to, to learn about or to, to, to keep track of, of these problems. Uh, and I think also to fight against the misuse of science. Uh, I think uh, science, scientific research provides tools whether these tools are used in a good or a bad way uh, is, depends on many other people, politicians and the general public. This mathematics has its very strong internal logic and many uh, mathematical discoveries come from following up some kind of completely internal and sometimes not even uh, for the outsider not even terribly interesting question uh, that the history of mathematics is full with examples for this and I myself had uh, discoveries or, or a particular one particular algorithm that uh, I discussed and that was also mentioned in the citation, which I discovered because just I wanted to fix some very minor technical uh, detail, which would have been easy to get around, but, but I didn't like it. I, it's, it's somehow the, the aesthetics of the situation dictated that you have to be able to do something there. And then quite unexpectedly, in another area, the same uh, discovery became quite uh, uh, important and, and used a lot. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I, I also found a lot of uh, interesting ideas coming from uh, applications. And you, 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 you look at uh, applications and questions raised by I was mostly for uh, by computer computers by the advancement of uh, computing technology, and they, they, it, it uh, raised a lot of mathematical questions. And in fact, I must say that it it contributed to a very uh, basic uh, sort of reshaping of the foundations of mathematics or of the the paradigms under which mathematics works. So, uh, so external, external sources are also very important. I think both.
I, I think uh, that uh, Hungarian mathematics had some traditions which I, I feel are, are important and they, they play an important role. One of these is a commitment to education, uh, to education not only at the university level, but also for, for uh, high school or even uh, elementary school. Uh, and uh, that, that I feel is, uh, is one of the, the strong traditions of, of Hungarian mathematics, which I, I, I learned and picked up. There's also a kind of openness in sharing ideas that I learned more, mostly from my, one of my uh, professors, Paul Erdős, and, and he, he introduced an extremely open style of doing research that if you have an idea, then, then you, you share it with, with others even if the idea is not. So it's not that you try to keep it to yourself and then uh, bring it to, a f to completion and then claim all the credit to yourself, but it's better to share it with others and then maybe the idea will develop into something much more important than what you could alone achieve. Mathematics has some traditional areas where, uh, of application. These are mostly engineering, physics, and some parts of chemistry. Now, uh, how, um, many other areas face the problem that uh, they are trying to understand large structures. Uh, think of the society if you are a maybe a sociologist, or if you are a historian, then you want to understand the structure of society. Uh, or if you are a biologist, you want to understand the structure of, a, of, of a, say, a, a, a human body, or, or, you, or, or even the structure of a whole forest with all the species and all the animals and uh, plants that live in that forest. And part of the structure is not just the individual elements that compose this structure, but also the interconnections between these elements. Uh, uh, society consists of interactions. People interact with each other. And the nature of this uh, network that people form clearly influences uh, how society works. If, it's, uh, if there are more interactions, then probably uh, as an example, diseases spread faster, but also ideas spread faster, inventions spread faster, religions uh, uh, spread faster. So for a historian, it is very important to, to understand the nature of this network. Uh, in biology, if you want to understand uh, how um, say, uh, a, a forest functions, then that's a huge network of interconnections. Uh, uh, animals compete, animals eat each other, they eat the plants, plants they, uh, they meet each other for, uh, for procreation, and so on. I mean, that's, uh, there's, uh, there's a lot, uh, lot uh, of, uh, that, that is included in this, in this network between them. Uh, and these are huge networks. And some of the man-made networks, like the internet, is also a huge network. Or our brain is a huge network. Uh, and in all these networks, the situation is that uh, there are probably mathematical tools to model or describe the way individual elements behave. And uh, there are fewer tools or almost no tools to analyze the structure of the interconnections. And that's what I'm, I'm interested in. What kind of mathematical tools can one develop to describe and analyze uh, the structure of interconnections between the elements that form these huge networks?
my message would be to, to keep an open mind and, and always look around, not only uh, mostly in your own field, but in a broader sense. So if you are a mathematician, don't focus too early on a particular research topic. Try to understand and maybe do a little work in other areas because methods and ideas from other areas are uh, quite often extremely fruitful if you are able to bring it to, to your own. And also at a maybe less technical level, but I, I also recommend to, to look at other sciences and humanities just to see where they are heading because sometimes they are heading in a direction where you could be useful, your research could be useful.